When we started this project, we actually looked through, obviously, the previous Killzone games, but also all the backstory that had been created. And there's an enormous depth to the story and the characters involved. I think the really exciting thing is it's a proper Killzone game. It's not Killzone 2 on the Vita, it's not Killzone 3 on the Vita, it's a new Killzone game that's had a lot of effort and time put into it. There are two primary factions within the Killzone franchise, the Hellgast and the ISA, and they live on separate planets. The ISA previously actually kicked the Hellgast off their planet Vector. They don't like their planet. It is a horrible, oppressive place to live, and that's one of the reasons they're so bitter. For Mercenary, we're adding a new angle, so we actually have an extra faction who can sit between the ISA and the Hellgast and complete contracts for either side. You play as a guy called Aaron Danner, who's an ex-Marine that has now become essentially a gun for hire. You don't operate for uh, morality. You don't fight for who's right. You fight for who's going to pay you the most and how you can get the most profit. You're no longer tied to one of the factions. We can show you the war from a new perspective. You can make your own moral decisions based on, on what you're seeing. Which has allowed us to view the ISA and the Hellgast in, in a different way than we've been able to do before. Yeah, we saw your research, son of a bitch. One of the interesting things about Killzone Mercenary is that it's set over a uh, more than one time period. We start the story actually shortly after the opening events of Killzone 1, and then the story itself actually then spans into Killzone 2. It's designed to sort of uh, interweave between the events of Killzone 2 and feed into the whole Killzone storyline. And we really wanted to utilise that stuff, but still ground it in the universe so that people who've been through the previous Killzone games could go, oh cool, I remember that from Killzone 2. When you're playing as a mercenary and seeing things from that perspective, you'll, uh, you'll get an extra bit of insight into how they actually work. One of the things we really wanted to push on was that ambiguity of warfare. You know, it's not always about good guys and bad guys. It's about people being prepared to do terrible things for what they consider to be the greater good. I'm excited about gamers experiencing all the big moments in my game. I don't really want to give too many of them away, but I'm, I'm hoping and expecting that the, the very opening moment when people see what Mercenary is going to look like on the Vita will be a big moment. People still want to play a full, fat, impressive experience on a handheld. I think people's expectations are that they're going to be playing AAA games on that console, and uh, I think it's up to us to provide those experiences. Thank you.